Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I already have my February 2021 BoxyCharm box. This is the base box. It came so fast. I got it on February 6th. Today is February 7th and I've been dying to open it. I have not opened it yet. I don't know what's in here. We will see together. So this is my second BoxyCharm box. I joined last month and I was really surprised to learn that it's 25 bucks and you don't have to pay for shipping. So it's 25 bucks plus tax every single month for the base box. That's what this is. So we are going to get into unboxing it. And if you want to, you can stick around until after I unbox this because I'm going to be going over the January box and letting you know what I have used or what I really think I will use from that box. And I will be giving it a rating. I am going to try to be subscribed to BoxyCharm for a year and do this every single month where I give the box from the prior month, a rating so that I can see if it was actually worth it for me to be a member. So hopefully I make it. I mean, if I don't make it through the year, that means that it's definitely not worth it for me to be a member, but we'll see. So let's get into this. I'm so excited. I've been dying to know what's in here. So we have a cute little Valentine's Day type theme going on. And this is the box. I don't know. I've seen videos where people talk about the variation and I have a little number here and I think maybe that's the variation that I got. So it is C2102015 slash BA. I don't know, maybe that's it. And apparently some people like to know that, so there you go. So we'll keep this handy so we can see how much things cost. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm already happy with the first thing that I am seeing. I got the eyeshadow brushes. So this is the Glamier Pink Luxe Glitter Eye Brush Collection. Glittery, enchanting, and fun. This set features four essential eye brushes. Ultra soft duo synthetic bristles make blending easy and flawless. And it retails for $29.95 and it says it's a new launch. And I just was feeling like I need a little bit more variety in my eyeshadow brushes. So of the things that we could have gotten in our box, this was definitely one of the things I was hoping for. So already off to a good start. Okay, so this is kind of like a cheapy plasticky case I probably won't ever use, but it's like this and it says Glamour on it. I would... This is just kind of not me, so I might, you know, I have friends who might be more into this. I could gift this and just put these in something else. These are really, really cute. They have little glitter hearts floating around in water. Nice and Valentine's Day themed. This whole thing, and I don't mean for this to sound derogatory, I think it's, it's, I actually mean it as like a nostalgic thing, but this reminds me of a style that I would have been into like in literally like sixth grade. I think I had a keychain that looked like this. Um, I didn't have keys, I was in sixth grade, but I had a keychain that looked like this and I loved it. So this has four brushes and this is what they look like. I'm definitely keeping these for myself. Uh, this one's pretty rigid. This one's softer, like a blending brush. And then we have two, I always call these precision brushes. I don't know if that's what they're called, but you know, you can do the under eye and then, you know, <laughs> you know. And then a slanted precision brush. <laughs> Is that right? I don't know what that's called. So anyway, I do like it when brushes are labeled and these aren't labeled. But I am excited about this. I am, I am, I am. So, so far this is a one out of five in this box. And then the next thing I got, oh, this was the choice item. I should have just, maybe I should have started with this, but I picked this. This is the Brow Bar by Rima Bombshell Brow Kit. And I picked this. You could have either gotten this or a Wander Beauty palette or a different palette that I will put here along with the name of it. I don't remember. I think it was Ace. Ace Beauty, anyway. I am really excited about this. It looks kind of luxe too, so we'll see if it lives up to how it looked. So it looks like this, and then inside it looks like this. So you have some eyebrow colors and then some concealer, and then it looks like a highlighter for the brow bone. It comes with a little spoolie along with another slanted precision brush, so I will use that. Then it comes with these tweezers. Honestly, these feel, I'd have to, try them. I'm just used to like 
the standard everyday tweezers. I've never used another kind of tweezer, so we'll see. I, they just feel different, but they, they look good and they have a little thing that you can put over them to hold them together. And then it comes with, oh, an eyebrow pencil. Okay, cool. So I think I will get use out of everything except for I probably won't use these two things very much, if at all, but I will definitely use the rest. And this is a great little all-in-one travel thing for your brows. So I imagine I will like this. This is an iffy one. I'll have to let you know next month if I end up liking it. So be on the lookout for the March video. And this says the Bombshell Brow Kit is the most luxurious brow kit ever made. The golden goddess of all brow kits. This chic, this chic, this chic, sleek, compact, that took me a few tries to say, includes tweezers, brow pencil, two-sided spoolie with brush, highlighter, concealer, and two shades of brow powder. And the retail on this is $40. And then the next thing I got is the Evio Beauty Porefect Primer. This is a matte finish primer, so hopefully that will still work for me. I have dry skin, so matte stuff tends to not be for me, but you know, I've heard that you can still try it out and it may still work. I have been into the matte look lately and less shimmer and highlight, but I don't know anything about this brand, so I will let you know next month how this one works out. It says a moisturizing primer with a matte finish. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, a moisturizing primer with a matte finish that will create a smooth base for your foundation and help it last all day. With everyday use, your skin will experience the benefits of great ingredients like green tea to soothe the skin and minimize the appearance of pores while reducing any redness. This promises a lot of stuff, so I'm excited. It says it retails for $23. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm liking this box better than last month. Last month I had signed up really late, so I kind of feel like I got maybe like the last of the good stuff, but I'll tell you more about it. We'll go over it soon. Okay, and then I got the Atula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub, and it's their probiotic skincare. Atula uh, Beauty is a few years old now, and it's one of those brands that was founded by a doctor, and this doctor was... I can't remember her specialty, but what she found was that when she observed her patients who were taking probiotics orally, that their skin improved. So she started exploring probiotics topically and she came out with this whole probiotic skincare line, Tula Skincare. And I don't know, I don't know that there's a lot of research as to whether or not it works topically, but it's kind of become a thing. I've seen it elsewhere as well. And I don't know if she like started it, but that was the story that I I remember from reading about the brand. So I have used a cleanser of theirs that I thought was okay and then I used a pressed serum that was loaded with silicones which is okay but a lot of people were using it incorrectly and when used incorrectly a product like that can really actually be detrimental to your skin so it could have been a decent product. I never really ended up finishing it because it was just loaded with silicones and silicones aren't necessarily bad but I wanted it for my nighttime skincare and I don't like using silicones in my nighttime skincare. I am totally digressing. I just wanted to tell you about my experience with this line of products. I am excited to try this. It is their So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub and this says, got pores, get this. Created with powerhouse ingredients like pink salt, volcanic sand, and witch hazel, this scrub helps target blackheads to deeply purify and minimize the look of pores and it retails for $32. So, so far so good. I am liking the things I got. Okay, and then the next thing that I got is the Tristique Eye Duo, Good Vibes Mascara and Eye Pencil. And I have tried the mini eye essentials kit from Tristique that's been in a, like a lot of FabFitFun sales. And if you're a FabFitFun member, you probably are if you're watching my channel. I do a lot of FabFitFun videos and I was so pleasantly surprised. This is huge. What is this? What is, what is, what, look at the, what is, <laughs> I need to hold up a, a different mascara next to this to just show you. This is the Ilia mascara. Look, this is, okay, let's figure this out. So this is the eye pencil and I am 
really excited about this. Like I said, pleasantly surprised with the Tristique Eye Essentials kit. So I think that I will like this a lot. And let's just put that on into my stash. So, and then what is happening here? <laughs> what? Let's read the description and that might shed some light on what's going on. An eye-opening duo for gorgeously defined eyes. Good Vibes Mascara is the first mascara to combine a lash, curlier, and mascara in one product. Oh, the eye pencil formulated for sensitive eyes features a luxurious versatile, versatile, versatile gel formula. This pencil glides on like a liquid but provides pencil precision and it retails for $44. Okay, so I like this. I feel like it went on nicely and I feel like it would even go on the waterline pretty well. So I'm into this. So for the eye pencil alone, I'm already going to count this in my rating for this box. My preliminary rating, I will tell you my final rating next month. This is quite the contraption. Okay, so it looks like this. And then you flip, oh my gosh, you flip, what? Flip down to curl. <gasps> you guys, I'm, where did the box go? Step one, pull clear cap off the tool to access the hair, <laughs> the, the half curler. <laughs> pull the cap off, that's funny that they felt the need to put that in the instructions. Okay, step two, push back of half curler, it's called. Okay, let's back up. How to use. First, use eye pencil to line eyes. Use smudger to soften. Where's the smudger? <gasps> There's a smudger. There's a smudger on the other side of the eyeliner. There's a smudger. There's this eyeliner and then there's a smudger. It just gets better and better. Glad I decided to read the instructions. Amazing how much better things can work when you do that. Next, use the Good Vibes Mascara to curl and lift lashes for a perfectly defined look. Okay, so you do this. Start at outer corner of eye. Position curler as close as possible to the lash line. Push lever down to curl and hold for three to five seconds. Move across the entire eye to curl every section. I don't know that I'm gonna get into this because look, it's not very wide. Here is the width of an actual curler. So you can get obviously all your lashes in this and then you have to do it in sections with this one. So I just don't know how into this I will get, but I will try this when I don't have mascara on and I will let you know what I think of this so I don't know that I'll actually ever use the curler on this but we're we're already winning with this product I'm excited already so it has the hourglass kind of shaped wand very popular wand shape and I do like this shape it's not my favorite but I do like it and I will let you know what I think of this mascara once I get a chance to use it as well and what my rating is. The eyeliner already makes me want to give this a positive rating for the total of my box score for this month. So that's it. So we got the Tula exfoliating scrub. We got the Evio Beauty Primer. We've got the Tristique eyeliner and mascara. We've got the Brow Bar Bombshell Brow Kit. And then we have the Glamier eyebrush collection. And I am really feeling pretty good about these products. I am feeling a lot better than I did last month. So I will let you know what my rating is for that. Now let's recap the January box. Like I said, I was pretty disappointed in that box, but I joined late and I think I just kind of got the drags. So for this box, I'm giving it I'll tell you as I go. So here is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. I haven't used this. I do like using astringents. One of you did say that this did not work for you and kind of wreaked havoc on your skin and you also have dry skin. So I will be on my toes for that to potentially happen. I have had good luck in general with astringents though. So I do foresee this possibly working for me. I haven't used it yet because I have an astringent that I'm using, but because I anticipate it probably working, I'm gonna give this a one, a positive rating out of five. So, so far there's one out of five for the January box. That might change and I will tell you as I move along, especially in my year end wrap up, I will go over all of the ratings for the whole year and we'll see how many, what is five times 1260, the rating out of 60 and hopefully 
hopefully it's more than 30 and I will say that it was worth being subscribed. The next thing is this Ciate London palette. Now this is a really pretty palette with super neutral colors. I am wearing it right now because I really needed to test it in order to make this video and decide whether or not I liked it. And I do like it. It is not very pigmented. My friend, Lauren, hi Lauren, she describes it as just giving you a wash of color. And what I do like about it is that because it's not pigmented, there's a lot of room for error and I am not the best at applying eyeshadow so that's really nice there's a ton of room for error and there's not a lot of fallout so i do like this it is very everyday it is very pretty look at that color and it has that nice rubberized feel it's just a really pretty little palette and i do like it i do feel like i got a pretty eye look from it so i am definitely giving this a one so that is two out of five right there the next product is this bali balm and i used it last night so that i can make this video and let you know and it is sweet orange and coconut and I think that I would really really like this except for I have a problem with creamsicle I don't know why it is this something that I recently discovered in making videos like this there are a lot of products out there that smell like creamsicle and they just always turn me off I don't think I've ever even had a creamsicle in my life no I have not but I don't like my beauty products to smell like creamsicle is something that I've learned so this being on my lips especially Especially is not something that I will be able to use maybe I could get used to it but I'll go ahead and give it to my mom and see if she likes it so this is a zero so we are still at two out of five this is a no-go for me and then the next product is the Laura Geller high def glow illuminator duo in heart of gold and I am leaving the little plastic insert in this and this you know if I didn't have a ton of highlighter type products it would probably be okay. I just don't need this. That, that's It just boils down to I just don't need this and it doesn't really look very appealing either. Because of that, I'm leaving the plastic in. This will likely just go into a giveaway. It could be a great product and I hate to not give it a score simply because it's just something that I don't need. I don't wear a lot of highlighters actually so it kind of makes sense that I wouldn't score this on the rating scale so so this is the fourth product and i am still at a two for the january box could be really lovely though i am putting it in a giveaway so be on look so if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing i do giveaways sometimes and then the last thing is the dr brandt do not age triple peptide eye cream now i am going to give this a zero off the bat because it's not cruelty free like dr brandt is just not at all cruelty free it's, it's not even that they're cruelty free and they're owned by a parent company that's not cruelty free they're just not cruelty free so this is never something that i would pick for myself that being said it could be a great eye cream i will still use it i suppose because i have it but because it's not something that I would ever purchase for myself or recommend anyone purchase, this is not getting scored on the rating systems. So for the January box, it comes to a two out of five for these two items, which is actually pretty good. I've spent $25 with tax, like $27, and I got a lovely Ciate palette and this. This still far exceeds the $25 or $27 value, so it still was worth it. Now for the total value of the February base box, I am going to do some not so quick math, so $169 for the February base box and I am actually quite excited about the things that I got so yay that's everything for today I hope you have a wonderful day if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing and introducing yourself in the comments below I would love that and I will see you in my next video bye